you know. Monkey Boy versus uh, K Ham. Yeah, so we got, uh, looks like we can get a Mewtwo versus Aegis. Mewtwo, Mewtwo. character that was godlike in Smash 4, but got gutted in this game. Good. Right, yes, I agree. I could agree with you that on John. John, I could agree with you with that because. Mewtwo uh, was a mistake. Mewtwo in Smash 4 was just, just too much for what he did. Safest down till in the game, had combos, killed really early. I mean, he's lightweight, but he still. He had everything. Yeah. Being light didn't change anything. Yeah, I feel like in Smash 4, being light wasn't actually a big of a weakness as it, as it is in this game. Yes, I being, think, being light actually hurts you in this game. Yeah, for sure, because of the increased damage output. So you get to death a lot more faster compared to Smash 4. So weight plays a big factor in how good a character is in this game, too. Dude, everyone's just in murder mode. Yeah. Yeah, just this game is mash zone, you know, mash uh, safe zone, so... <laughs> All right, okay. we're about to start on Battlefield. Um, I think, honestly, the, it's good for Aegis. I'm pretty sure it's good for Mewtwo also. Okay, gotta get some busy work done. 12%. 31 from that from that one string. Mewtwo's neutral air is that it's still pretty good in this game, but it's just funny that they kind of copied his neutral air into Pikachu, but now he has he has kind of a worse snare. It doesn't really follow up as well as it does as it should. Well, in Smash 4, that Nair automatically ended, basically. Yeah. <laughs> when he was done using it in the air, he was ready to do that. It was basically how, like how Roy's forward air works now. I see. It's like, you know how he does forward air and then he's just ready to do the next aerial? Yeah. Yeah, that was Smash 4 and Nair. Now it's uh, reasonable. Still a great Nair, though. So yeah, for sure. Like Any kind of Nair that drags you down like that and puts you into a situation where you have to either like react or tech, I think it's going to be good regardless. All that, and it's a more than serviceable out of, it, out of shield option. Good way on his shield, knowing that he's going to try to probably hit his shield with something. Right now we got kind of an even-ish game. Um, I think right now Kahama is faring pretty well against uh, Monkey Boy. I get the, uh, the, the trick out to fair. Oh, we just misspaced. He, uh, he probably knew he was going to do the side B, but he misspaced that down smash. Probably should have jumped and did a downer. Jumping and doing a downer is so free against Mithra's side B on any character. Doesn't even have to be a disjoint. Indeed. Ooh, just missed that down here on the jump. That's it. Boom. No mash is going to save you there. Good read on the up B. Yeah, a lot of Mutes love to like up B on platform um, to the stage. Um, it's kind of hard to react to. I can see why they do it. But any kind of hard read like what um, Monkey Boy just did will cover that option. Yeah, so he's taking it slow. Oh. You know, I do have to say, I know people like mentioned it when she first came out, but I do find uh, Pyra's side D very interesting, just from like a coding standpoint. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy how much priority had on startup. Like, it'll literally be a lot, beat out a lot of moves and push you back also. No, I'm just more talking about how they managed to code Pyra without a sword in her hand. Oh, I see. It's interesting. She just completely can't like, do anything. Yeah. She completely dequips herself, and it's really interesting. I think it's I think it's just like a that's a cool change that they did and it has counterplay. So if she does it, you could literally go hit her for free or grab her because she can't hit you during that brief moment. Yeah, it's interesting. So right now I think K Hammer's just playing the Cambi game very well against Aegis, a monkey boy. Oh, he didn't read the air dodge. I feel like he was waiting for it, but he probably thought he was gonna air dodge in. Yeah, you, you can't really do smash attack to the ledge against um, them because most of their hitboxes cover over the ledge, so. There you go, just this, uh, yep, free, free uppies for uh, Mewtwo. All right, go to us now, covering him, trying to get off the platform. Right now, I think Monkey Boy just has to do a, a good play just to get the percentage back again. You have max rage and just Mewtwo, so you could potentially just take an early kill. Uh, but right now, I think he's, yeah, he's just, he read his jump. Um, Mewtwo forward air. Mewtwo forward air, again, one of the better forward airs in the game, just because of how fast it is, and it just kills, too. Again, like I feel like, honestly, I think he hasn't been changed that much from Smash 4, but just the way this game works now just makes him a worse character. So. Oh, absolutely. He still has really good tilts. He still has a good forward air. It's just, again, being light, and then every, every character is better in this game. So. It's not just that. It's also just that in Smash 4, there were a couple of characters in the game who were good because it, it was. Blah, I can't get sentences out. <laughs> They were all, most of the characters in this game were predicated on just uh, staying on the ground and not jumping a lot. You know, 
The yeah. neutral was run up and shield and stuff. So characters with really good pokes like Mewtwo down tilt, Diddy Kong, whatever, Ryu, everything. Like, they were just really good because people were staying on the ground for the most part. Yeah, you're right, yeah. Ultimate, all three of those characters, they got nerfed, but they didn't get nerfed that much. I feel like that the meta shift into Ultimate being Jump Simulator is what actually hurt them. Yeah. Like, did it? Oh, oh my god, what a jump! Yeah, what that, a jump! Yeah, anytime you see um, Mewtwo charging that, that Shadow Ball, you just want to shield it or just maintain distance so you can react to it. Shadow Ball fully charges, has a huge hitbox, and it could kill like at 100% around there. Give or take at the ledge. So. It's hella strong. Way stronger than mo the average charge shot, that's for sure. Oh, interesting. Again, <laughs> Mewtwo's just having all the characteristics of a good character, but just too light. And in this game, that's cost him so much. Too light and too big. Yeah. For instance, I'll, I'll compare this to Pichu. You know, a lot of people think Pichu was broken in the game, and he did a lot worse because of the nerfs. But actually, he did a lot worse because people just figured out how to play against Pichu, and they figured out, hey, this guy can be light. I could just kill him at 70%. And I, I'll, I'll live. I would also say that Fighter's Pass, both of the Fighter's Passes kind of hurt Pichu a lot. Because most of the DLC characters were just kind of, oh, we can kill you in some BS way at like 0%. Yeah. And so for Pichu, that's like, oh, great. Yeah, so People like, who can kill me at negative 10. And Pichu just, just like, the, all those characters have, have the Pichu combo game without Pichu's weakness, so. Yeah. And Pichu just ended up getting the sword in the stick. All right, we're going to a much more flatter stage, per se. We're going to a small battlefield, no top platform. Uh, again, I think last game, uh, KM kind of had an early stock. Uh, so we'll see how K Monkey Boy is going to adapt. Good weight on the shield, not, you know, just waiting for him to lose options. Sometimes waiting, waiting in shield is okay. Like, it's not a bad option to keep waiting in shield. Nice tail, you two, Jesus Christ. <laughs> So he's being a lot more, yeah, he's actually approaching a lot less, which is good. So I mean, he's changing something in his plan to make the make match a little more easier. Good follow-up and down throw. That's it, yeah, he's, he's below Mewtwo, so he's going to get all the damage that he wants. Ooh, that was a, that was a bad air dodge up. That must have been unintentional. He had a jab block. Oh my god, I respect that. You know what, it's, oh it worked out. Oh my god. It worked out, it didn't even matter. I don't know if it's because it he body blocked him or just up he, her up he just sucks that much, like with no drift. Uh, I think she just died. That's crazy. This, is, this might actually cause the game now, to be honest. Me too was... Oh, just hang on the ledge there a little too long. He was holding ledge below the stage, so I don't think he could have body blocked uh, Mithra I like think. that. Maybe. But then again, Mewtwo is huge, so. He is huge. Maybe <laughs> his big stupid tail is just like, eh, get out of here. We should replay that. Uh, I want to see that downer at the ledge again. I want to see if he timed that just right. Oh, we shall see. Oh, that was a that was a good try on it. Good try on tech lead. All right, we got Pyro. What is he going to do right now? Oh, oh my god. That, like, that, <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't hit. He turned around. Oh, I see. He got 60% of 72. I find it so interesting that there are some moves that just don't work if you're not facing them. Depend on which direction the opponent is facing. Yeah. There's three moves like that, and only three. Disable, uh, backslash, and Nosferatu. Don't forget uh, Sora's counter. Oh, yeah. Sora's counter. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Again, this is not a bad spot. In terms of, like, if you want to compare it to, like, weight ratios, they're kind of, like, an even kill percent. So, whoa, did that dash, like, dash under his, his side B? Mm -hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> Using dash attack to go under the uh, the disable. Most dash attacks do low profile. It's not the worst idea. But still, I'm surprised at the low profile that much. She's a tall character, so. Well, it was an air confusion. I, I think we could give it a pass. Jesus, that almost killed. All right, good fade away with Monkey Boy, avoiding Whoa. that down air. All right, this is this could be it for him. If he could get this this ledge option read, he could just end the stock right now. Oof. Got him. I got a dog into the ledge. You're dead. Honestly, I think I. Yeah, just I feel like you should go. There you go. Yeah, just do it. No, don't, no. Let him, don't, don't let him do that for free. <laughs> That's just being disrespectful at that point. Here we go. Mewtwo making it to 150. We got side B. Forward tilt. Back. Back there here. Nice. There it is. Good mix on the ledge option. Back out of shield, still safe. Oh yeah. Mewtwo's nair is not that bad, see? Yep. 
Down tilt forward, to keep, keep the follow up simple. Alright, looks like we got an evenish game now. I like that. Going for the bread and butter combos, just get a damage <laughs> in. Oh. Uh oh. 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 oh! He's dead. That's yeah, it. <laughs> there it is. Caught him spot dodging and got him with a down air. All right, let's let's see this uh, replay now happen. All the replays. Yeah. So I think this is the one. I think yeah, where he got. Boom! It's too early. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely just wasn't making that. For sure. Now this is this is the other we stock. Can, we can take a peek. One sec. Yeah, he just didn't make that. I see. Okay. All right, this is the one where he. I'm gonna see how well he timed that. I don't know. Oh, uh, let's go minus 10 frames. Minus 10 frames here. Let's just let's see. I think he just ran out of iframes. He's still holding it. He's still just holding. Oh it. yeah, yeah. He's he, he's not he's not blinking ah. for sure. Yeah. Hey, look, Smash Bros. Smashy Bros. Well, this is a very good set so far. I do declare. Yeah. So uh, again, Monkey Boy adapted pretty well. So, and we take. Oh, Kham's counter break goes PS2. I guess he wants that. I guess, yeah, it makes sense. You want more space to charge your projectiles and stuff, so. Oh, just coming down with the, uh, with the, uh, lightning blade. Or, I forgot what it's called. A little fun fact about that move. In the, in the introduction of that, uh, this character on Sakurai's, um, like, Sakurai plays when he introduced Aegis, he said that, um, uh, Mithra's, like, that move of Lightning Blade was, was like, it can't hit from behind. Like if, if the opponent's behind, it can't hit them. But then for some reason, they're, they're, like, when you do the move, it has a hitbox behind her that pulls you into the move. Um, so, I yeah. know what he's talking about, but yes. What? What do you think he's talking about when he's... Uh, on a full charge Lightning Buster, the first swing has a hitbox behind her. No, no, even even just... No, when she's president. charging it, yeah. The, the hitbox is above her there, though. No, no, I'm saying, even if he just presses B and doesn't charge it, it it'll still suck you in regardless. Nice. So I think that was, I don't know, I guess they wanted to make the move work better. <laughs> DLC, you know, getting the better treatment of the of the cast in this game. I mean, to be fair, Lightning Buster is the craziest move, so I don't mind it being like that. It's still, it's still, it's invincible too, so I don't know. I think that move's really good for what it does. What I find more annoying about this character from a dev standpoint is that they felt the need to, like, bring attention to that Pyra's forward smash uses fire. <laughs> like, that's actually a thing. You know how, like, characters have... Some characters in the move list have, like, extra things below them saying, oh, this character is special because of this. Like, Kirby has copy abilities, Lucario has aura, and they need to explain that underneath the character's special moves. Yeah. For Pyra, it just says forward smash. Pyra's forward smash is really strong and big. I mean, it's the fire, man. It is, but that's <laughs> not... That's not special. That's just a big forward smash. Well, look at that. Pirate Slide, we just took uh, Mewtwo's stock at, like, well, I mean, he's at 120, so. Or above that, but still, you know. It's just a big forward smash. They just they just have really good special. I mean, they just have good moves in general, especially Pyra. Pyra has really good moves for what she does. No, no, I'm not saying her whole kit. I'm saying literally just forward, forward smash. smash. <laughs> they brought attention specifically to forward smash for no reason. And I will never forgive them for that. All right, we got juggle going on. Good jump, getting out of the zone of the. That's it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard Pyra's uh, death cry like that. It's kind of funny sounding. I've heard it. My favorite one was she says, "I'm sorry" because she dies. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like Mithra's though. That's 18.9. Was that fourth throw? Yeah. Oh my god, that's I've never seen a throw do that much damage before. Bowser's down throw. Oh my god, he just read his landing with forward smash. Well, Bowser's down throw does like 20. Oh wow. Yeah, heavyweights tend to do a lot of damage in their throws from Failed. what I've seen. Oh, made it. Oh, oh he dude. might die! Yeah, he that's got it. the forward air too. I like that. <laughs> I don't, did it hit? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Well, maybe. Yeah, because his knock back didn't change at all. He just it was affected, so it's going to do more damage now. Also, if we're talking death prize, we can't forget about Mithra's seriously. Yeah. Downer. Downer. <laughs> it's just I'm gonna say every, that. every Pyra does that at ledge. I'm going to say that when I finally go out. Seriously. 
Interesting change that they made to Mithra was uh, her gotcha. landing buster. What a oh, good catch, yeah. Landing buster used to actually always do like, almost, like made your, made your weight 100% always at knockback, which is funny. Yeah, probably a mis mistake. Probably, yeah. Maybe they meant to make it only for all the hits except the last one. Yeah. 56. Good get up attack. Not re letting him get to his, uh, not letting him do a tech follow up. Okay. All right, this is this anyone's game. Yeah. If you could just keep, if you could keep juggling you two, you could potentially take this. Oh, he did a dash attack, but it come out fast enough. All right, 63. Downer? Oh my god, yeah. I thought that was going to be a downer, too. Losing it. Okay, Han is oh. using that uh, teleport real liberally. I hope if Monkey oh. Boy catches onto it, he could get like a really sick hit. Oh, oh, oh my god, that was. I'm surprised that all that happened. Yeah, Monkey Boy's not going to throw another replacing end. For sure, yeah. Oh, I read the teleport that time. Oh my god. Yeah, good roll. Just probably knew you going to do something. Oh, what are we going to do here? Side B? Didn't get hit by this. Oh, oh what a good spot dodge. Oh, and that's no. it. Dropping shield oh. to back air. That's it, yeah. What a set. And then he also DI'd in, so for sure you were going to die. What a set. Yep. Holy smoke. Like, he, Monkey Boy said, you're not, you're not going to make me fall for that again. Really good spot dodge. Good timing. Allowed him to get the entire set. Good, good adaptations. We love to see it. Music, where are you? There it is. Can I see chat? I don't see chat. Uh, I have no idea how to make that happen. Ask Devin. Ask Devin? Yes. <laughs> I want to see what people are saying. I want to interact not, with not, the viewers, you not know? Not much. Yeah. Look at that. I think he was at 98 before it even hit. He didn't uh -huh. hit it much. Uh -huh. It was just, it was just oh. going way too far. Wait, there's the forward air. That, that missed. See? It yeah. missed? Yeah. How? The, that move has a lot of hit lag, so. No, no, no. I refuse to believe this. Go back by. No, it no. Did he, he did hit. Look. Look at oh, the missing. Oh, it didn't. Oh, that's yeah. so dumb. Trust me. If he got hit, the knockback would have changed slightly. Yeah, I know. Because I know that because of doubles. Like in doubles, whenever somebody gets hit, at, like even during high knockback, they get the same kind of loss distance, but they kind of change. Knockbacks the angle. combined. Uh, that happens yeah. when you get hit during hit lag. Yeah. Which he was being hit during hit lag. I yeah, cannot. Yeah, that believe. was a that was a crazy spot dodge. What a, I hate spot dodges. Yeah. What were you thinking, Sakurai? Making spot dodges? You know, you know, like I think a lot of people need to understand why they make spot dodges like that. I think it's to make it more easier on challenging aerials. Because if if spot dodge had the same amount of end like at Smash Four, you could never punish aerial out of a spot dodge, and they only spot dodge useless at that point. Yeah. So I think I think no, th I get there, it. There's intention with that, like to make spot dodges like cancelable. No, you can't shield. Dodges. You can't shield super fast. So if you read it, you could always just punish them for it. But spot dodges are fine. Yeah, I think spot dodges are fine in this game. Rolls. 